This fence might look a little too tall for most dogs to climb, but it wasn't too tall for a dog named Cora, and this wasn't even the highest that she would climb. The dispatch was like, wait a minute, you have a, a what in a tree? We want to know if they were messing with us. <laughs> A Great Dane stuck in a tree. It was like, how on earth did you get up there? When Wes McGurk came home from dinner in the city, his not so tiny puppy was whimpering 20 feet up on a tree limb. We grabbed a ladder. I thought I could climb up there, but I'll, I can only get to the center. It was like, there's no way I'm passing that. So we called the fire department. We rolled in and we all looked out the driver's side window and went, yeah, there's a dog up that tree, and it's a big one. All 120 pounds of her. By this time, it was 10 p.m., and Cora was shivering cold. She stayed put. She was not going to move from that spot. When I got even crawled up to her, she was not going to move from that spot. So I just kind of held on to her and calmed her down. And it's like, okay, honey, they're going to be here shortly. We'll get you out of this tree. The plan was to have a tarp ready to catch her if she fell, but the Cache County Sheriff's canine handler would attach a harness to lower her down. It took two of us to put the harness on her and once she was secured she wheeled down about halfway and then fell the rest of the way some of the harness stitching came loose but that's what the tarp is for we cushioned the fall pretty well and uh, like I said he just he walked in went into the house like nothing happened safe and sound Cora went about her business happy to meet her new rescue team friends I could see a cat getting stuck in a tree but never a 120 pound dog Never. It's one of those that we'll talk about down here for a long time. Fingers crossed it won't happen again. Cora's owner thinks she was chasing a raccoon up the tree after someone let her out. It's possible she was up there for hours because when they couldn't find her later, it was her whining that signaled where she was. And John and Mallory, it was obviously the last place they were planning to look for her. I love the reaction. <laughs> yeah, there's a dog in the tree and it's a big one. Yeah, got to deal with it. <laughs> we'll see what Cora's next adventure is. Yes. Can't wait to see. All right, thanks, Don.